okay, you've mentioned Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. We've talked about it a little bit. Is the situation now for the Jets, Chris, Aaron Rodgers or bust? And I guess bust would be Jimmy Garoppolo. I think it's Rodgers or Garoppolo. And my guess would be most Jets fans would say, please get us Aaron Rodgers, not Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, I, I would think so. The, the, yes, that's that's certainly I, I think most Jet fans, if I had a if I had to gauge the interest up here, I would tell you that most Jet fans, yeah, Aaron Rodgers is exciting, but I think they're scared to death of what that might mean for their football team. I do. I think a lot of people, and I saw them yesterday, they were, oh, man, Derek Carr went to the Saints. Oh, man, Derek Carr went to the Saints. Hey, Sims, Sims, what do you think that means for the Jets? Is it Aaron Rodgers or nothing now? <laughs> well, no. Hey, Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. All right, man, I was hoping we'd get Derek Carr. I heard that like five times yesterday. So, you know, I think everybody up here, and this, you know, being a pretty intelligent sports town here in New York they they understand the risk with the Aaron Rodgers situation and then I feel like Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't excite them very much but at the end of the day they're willing to do anything other than have Zach Wilson be the starting quarterback right now so I think anything's a positive to them is whether it's Rodgers or, or Garoppolo we'll see I, I hadn't seen this before, and I'm reluctant to even mention it because Trey Wingo isn't a reporter, and I don't know how well anything that he may tweet gets vetted. I'll do respect, Trey. But he's claiming Rodgers and the Jets talked on Monday, and Rodgers is in the open, open to the idea of going to the Jets. I, I missed the report where the Packers granted Aaron Rodgers permission to talk to the Jets. That would seem to be step one before Rodgers talks to the Jets. Otherwise, it's tampering. He's still under contract with the Packers. And I'm not aware that the Packers had given Aaron Rodgers permission to talk to anybody. Maybe maybe they have. Again, maybe, maybe I missed Trey it with all the other stuff that's going well, on. Maybe Trey knows and here, here, here's, here's the tweet. Here's the tweet from overnight, per sources. And it's funny how they always say per sources, even if it's just one person who calls you. Isn't that weird? And I'm always very anal about saying source if it's one, because sources implies more than one. But I wonder if that nuance is lost on some of the folks who will tweet this stuff. Anyway, per sources, Aaron Rodgers and the Jets had conversations today. While nothing is imminent, Rodgers is open to the idea of going to New York. Again, that means that the Packers have authorized the Jets to talk to Rodgers, or it means they haven't, and the Jets are tampering with Aaron Rodgers. So it just feels like a step was missing here. And we in the media like to milk every cow we can. So it would be nice to milk the Packers have given Aaron Rodgers permission to talk to other teams cow before we pivot to the Rodgers has talked to the Jets cow. So it's just it's odd that that step got skipped yeah. in the overall right. generation of chocolates on the assembly line that we in the media like to throw out to the to the consumers of our product, if that makes any sense at all. No, it, it, it makes sense. You're right. You know, now we're we're like, you know, we're like Lucy and, and what's her name? And we're trying to eat the chocolates and keep Viv. up in time here. Yeah, exactly. Viv. I think you're right. I think uh, Ethel, Ethel, right? No, Ethel, or, Ethel. Yeah, but it was Viv. Same person was Viv on the later Lucy. Hey, there was like hey. a Lucy show later without Desi. Don't and it give was me Vivian. that crap. She was Ethel. Okay. Don't give me that crap. All right. All right. Mama named her Ethel. We call her Ethel. All right. <laughs> but either way, uh, yeah, it is odd. But I also, as you were describing that, I was going, well, who said the Packers have to like release it to public information that Aaron Rodgers can talk to other teams? I'm sure they, you know, again, they got to get this damn thing going too. So I think we all thought that this was coming at some point that they got to let Rodgers have a feel for, you know, one of these teams or two of these teams, whoever he might be interested and in, maybe want to leave town for. So I'm not shocked to hear that process has started a little bit. And now with Derek Carr out of the mix, right? And that lines up to what I had heard, Mike, that, you know, the Jets and, and the Panthers and teams, they had, they had kind of heard here in the last few days that, you know, Carr was, was on the Saints bandwagon. So maybe that made them pivot here a little more aggressively to the Rodgers situation and maybe they got the okay to, to talk to him within the, the league rules and parameters there and they get this thing rolling a little bit to see where it goes. I still don't know what happens with the Packers and Rodgers. Rich Eisen was saying on his show yesterday that when he was at the Combine, he heard over and over and over again that the Packers are hoping that Rodgers chooses a divorce of the two sides. 
what if he wants to stay? He has all the power if he wants to stay. Now, it's going to be awkward, but he seems to embrace awkward. He seems to relish awkward at this stage of his career. Show up. Here I am. You're paying me $60 million. I'm going to be the quarterback. Oh, you're going to bench me? You're still paying me $60 million. And Jordan Love wants to be traded. Oh, well, see you, Jordan. I'm the quarterback for this year, and you can figure out the problem next year. I think they do want to move on. Well, I yeah. think it makes sense. Right. What, right but when Brian Gutekunst, the GM of the team, we said this last week. He's ready. He addressed the media. It wasn't, we want Aaron, we want Aaron, we want Aaron. It's Jordan Love is ready to be the starter. Right. Absolutely. So, yeah, they're sending out the the messages yeah. that Rogers they hope I think will pick up and the question is how big of an ass does he want to be how passive aggressive does he want to be how much chaos does he want to cause who knows what voices spoke to him while he was residing in the darkness for however long he was there who knows what he chooses to do is he going to seek vengeance or is he going to seek clarity and peace? I don't know, but I thought we'd know by now what he's going to do, at least as to the basic question of Packers or someone else. I feel like we're at the point where we need to know Packers or someone else. Well, y yeah. I mean, first off, I, I think that's the first thing is it seems like it's only Packers or Jets. I know the Raiders keep being thrown out there and – Man, I saw that they were a betting favorite, and I would like to – I mean, I wish you could, like, you know, bet the short on that or bet the the other way there because I, I, I don't see that happening. I don't care how many fans at a golf tournament uh, yelled at Rodgers. It does not mean – I, I just don't see the Raiders being in the Rodgers market. So that's where – I. so now we're at a place here where it's just two teams. It's Packers or Jets. Maybe that's a little bit, you know – Weird for Rodgers and the fact that he thought he might have some more options. And then, you know, Mike, I'm with you in the fact that this is different than the years before. This is different in the fact that the years before, the Packers were saying all the right things and all the right messages were going out there, right? Okay, yeah, we have Rodgers, you know, hey, he's a handful, blah, 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 but we want him back. We want him back. He's Aaron Rodgers. He's our team. He's our team. He's the MVP. You know, this year – you know, again, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a mistake that we're hearing rumors and things from all these people that are in the know or have been associated with the Packers or whatever that the word's gotten out that they're they want to wash their hands. They've had enough. They can't deal with it anymore. They don't want to be held hostage here for the next year or two and trying to figure this out. So that's where I do think it's different, and I I got to think Rogers feels that and hears that too to where. Yeah, reading between the lines, they're sending signals out that they'd like to move on with life and they're sick of the drama. Well, why don't you pick the Jets, please, and, and make life easier on us? And I don't know what he'll do there, but it's interesting. It's the first time they put out that message, in my opinion. Here's the definition of multitasking. I just looked it up, confirmed it, and tweeted it while you were saying what you were saying. It was, Chris, 52 weeks ago today. Yeah. One year ago tomorrow that Aaron Rodgers announced he was staying with the Packers for 2022. So we are exactly where we were a year ago in relation to the start of free agency. Free agency starts a week from tomorrow. The market opens for legal tampering or whatever the hell they call it now next Monday. So we're exactly where we were relative timeline. And he said, he's not going to hold the Packers hostage. I think he already is holding the Packers hostage. And if, if the question of Packers or someone else lingers beyond today, he's officially holding the Packers hostage. Yeah. I, I mean, we're, 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 we're in that time frame here. I, I, I think we're, we're both, you know, two people who thought that this would be done fairly quickly you know, it, and we said last week, you know, if this goes more than a, a week more or 10 days more than this, then it does become hostage territory. And, yeah, we're flirting with that right now. You know, it, it's time. These teams want to make moves. They got to they gotta figure it out. Uh, the Jets, the Packers, whoever else is out there may be involved in the conversation. So I would expect that we get something here this week from Rodgers and his camp and we start to get a real tangible lean as to what's going on or what he's thinking. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.